G'day guys, Scott and Lee from Sunny Coast M4A1 on another Review Tuesday. So today we'll be reviewing the beautiful Python 357. This thing is show beautiful girl. guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we originally had the short one. Yep. So not quite too much chop on that one, hey Scott? No, they they still look pretty. Lacking um, a little bit in size. A little pizzazz, yeah a little bit of size. It's, yeah, to some guys, size is everything. It is a PG review, Lee. Definitely. Just remind myself more than anyone. Yeah. Um, the handle is a little bit light. Yep. Um, still great for cosplays and photo shoots. Yep. But today we got the new one. Yeah, on today's so. episode, guys, we have this beautiful. Look at this bad boy here now. You know what? Are you feeling a little inadequate now, Scott? I mean, I, I always feel inadequate here. next to you, bro. <laughs> this, this is beautiful, guys. I mean, look at this Lost. revolver. The, the handles. Look at the handle. A lot better quality. Let's do a slow motion drag over to the light side of stuff. Mm -hmm. See a little halo effect. <laughs> um, but that is great. Like you see, the extra length and the porting in the barrels. Yep. Uh, just how much more size it is. Yep. Um, I'll put this one away. Yep. Um, Let's have I'm gonna take it off it just more. because it uh, has a really great texture to it, guys. Yep. All se sexy, sleek, and black. That's right. Say that five times. Yeah. yeah. Really quick. Yep. Um, holding this one reminds me of you know first Batman where you see Jack Nips the Joker. Oh yes. out, And he's just pulling that revolver out for days. Yeah. Or Dirty Harry. That's right. That's what this makes me feel like. Yeah, well, you know, you're back to being a kid. Definitely feeling lucky with this blaster, guys. It's a really special one. Yeah, yeah. very much. Yep. Well, do we want to show them to the unboxing of this blaster, Scott? Yeah, guys, here we go. Alright guys, here we are back with the unboxing of the new Python 357. Everything that comes in the box we have removed and displayed it right here on the table. So with this blaster guys, you do not get a great deal. This blaster is very special in itself, so it kind of makes up for that. What we are going to receive guys is six spare shells for inside the blaster. We're going to receive a speed loader here, so you can actually fill this bad boy up with your gels and then crank down on it to put those gels inside your little uh, shell casings then place those bad boys right inside the blaster itself. This blaster here guys is made from an ABS plastic. Um, basically remove the uh, center cartridge to the side by hitting this button here. Uh, you've got your shells inside there so these are actually the spares as previously mentioned. Um, once loaded with your gels, rack that back into the center. Do not spin this one around guys and flick it back in as you may force the little spring mechanism inside to um, shake loose and um, cause this thing to become faulty. Once you've uh, loaded your gels and using this uh, blaster correctly, all you're going to do, pull the lever back, aim. This definitely isn't loaded guys, completely safe. I'm gonna pull the trigger fires just like that. On to your next shot. Hammer back. Hammer back. Firing again. Uh, we also receive in the box guys some gels and a small little Minglish um, instruction manual here. So it's not going to be too great to you guys but it will give you a little uh, picture a rough style, idea. rough idea of what to do with this blaster. It's like an right. IKEA catalog. Yeah. For a blaster. Yep, so we'll move on to here guys with uh, talking a little bit about the internals and what you can do with this blaster. 
can't really do anything guys. This is one of those blasters that you just take out of the box, load it and away you go. It's really for looks, great for cosplay Scott. Yep. Yeah, really good Thank for much. walking around pretending like you are the aforementioned Dirty Harry. Yep. Or, or Even a fidget spinner. I, yep. I'll spin it around like an old cowboy in a western. Yep. Uh, if I'm on the phone or on hold, because you know, we love that hold music, so it yep. keeps me awake. Yeah. Um, you know, oh, you yeah. Have, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a cowboy. So, <laughs> say, yeah. g'day, Nick. It's been oh, inspiration yeah. Shout for that. Shout out to Nick. Um, you can stick, um, actually, we do have a different handle you can stick on it too for a bit more weight. Yeah, we do have it a metal handle. Makes it easier to spin. Yeah, definitely. Um, the handle so, is brown though, this is a yes. black sand. Yeah, it's black a nice handle. shinier wood than the other one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, main thing to remember with this one though is no Russian roulette. So guys, as you know, our subscribers know, uh, we like to give these a rating, all of our blasts a rating out of 10. Mm. So Lee, let's start with looks out of 10. Yep. What do you rate this sucker out of 10? 10. 10, yeah? Yeah, for, for what it is, it looks exactly like a 357. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, it's done its job. I'd probably have to give it a nine. Yep. Um, I'm more of a fan of the, the metal handle. Yep. But I'd give it a good nine. Yep. She looks clean. Yeah, from a distance, so you can't tell. Oh looks no, great. definitely not. Yep. Looks beautiful. Yep. So firepower. Firepower. What's your guys? rating out of? 10? Oh, this bad boy here spits out about seven thousand FPS. <laughs> no, uh, guys, I'm gonna rate this one for a little revolver. I'll give it a five. Yeah, yeah. It's it's powerful enough to have some fun with at home. Yep. Set up some cans, set up some targets, but definitely shoot don't, it inside. Don't take so. it to a skirmish unless you're keen to uh, cop some full auto. Yeah. Yeah. Out range and out shot. I'd probably, I'd have to give it about a four and a half as well. Yeah. More for looks than for. For hitting the fields in a hard way. Yeah. Um, it looks great time. Yep. Uh, and then we go towards durability. Durability, guys, uh, the majority of this blaster is ABS, so I'll probably give it around a six. Yep. yep. So definitely if you use this thing smart in a smart manner, don't abuse it, it's gonna hold up forever. So yeah. If you are a little bit of a Neanderthal, yeah, like we are. <laughs> It may not hold out, but I'd yeah, say true to if you use it, you know, the old saying, use only as directed. Yeah. Um, no rush roulette, don't slang it closed. That's right. Uh, don't spin it. Treat with a bit of respect, I'd give it a solid six too. Yeah. Cool. So I reckon it's a nice little blaster. Cool. Modifications. So what would you give it modified? Mod wise. That's the words. Zero. Guys, you can't really mod this blaster. I'm gonna give it a zero for mods. It's basically out of the box, use as described, that's it. So I'll give it a zero. I'll give it a two. Two? A two. Because yep. you, I'll oh, you can change the handle. Change the handle. You can also yeah. paint it as well. Like any blast, yeah, yeah, make yeah. it your feel. You could so, spray this silver chrome, silver gold. Silver chrome. Yeah. You give it a, a rusty kind of brass feel yep. for all your cosplayers. So, yeah, you know, I might actually give it a four. Yeah, Just right. for that ability, choose any cosplay, paint it up, do yep. a firefly kind of look. Yeah. Um, yeah, our handle change is sprayed silver. They look great on a bookshelf yeah. or even in photography. So yeah. cosplays, bookshelf, photography, that's fun. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll I'll still, three or four. I'll still stick, stick with the zero, guys. <laughs> I can't put a Gen 8 or a V2 in this one, so <laughs> it's a zero yeah. for me. I'm more about, you know, I can spin it, have fun with it, yep. cosplay it, so. Yeah, guys, if you're after one of these blasters, uh, remember to head on down to one of our six stores and we also do have the extra two coming very shortly. So we do have Adelaide. Yep. We have Moray Field. We the have Seventeen Mile Rocks. Seventeen Mile Rocks. Toowoomba. Toowoomba. Wynnum. Wynnum. Sunny Coast. And Sunshine Coast here at Bell's Creek. We also have guys at Sunshine Coast 
at Bullpock Block Street. Street opening very soon and for those Ippos out at Ipswich yep opening up very soon out there as well keep your eyes peeled but if you subscribe to us and follow all of the pages on Facebook yep you'll actually get the notifications of when Ippy does open that's right so like us on Instagram Facebook follow us on YouTube follow us on everything leave those comments yeah like subscribe yeah get the little bell notifications yeah so in conclusion guys this blaster is great if you're after a piece for that cosplay um, yep. yeah get up yeah uh, thank you very much for following us guys and tuning in on this very special blaster review Tuesday with this Python 357 in the long uh, edition yeah yep <laughs> yeah hit us up guys uh, as always we recommend the double tap if you did not like yep. this video guys dislike it twice with force yeah with gusto hit, hit it with <laughs> gusto guys if you don't like anything yep hit it twice yeah if you do like it yeah if, let if us know and let us know why you like it tell us what yep. you like what you think we can do better yep and what you want to see yep so we're yeah. powered by you guys yep we love creating content for you guys so leave a comment tell us what we can do to improve ourselves and the community for you guys so in a positive yeah. way definitely safety so. first guys be very conscious when you're running around with these don't go running out in the streets as you guys should already know, but well, lots yeah. of we always say, you know, you may not need a big gun bag for it. But we do have small gun boxes, yep, or blaster boxes. Yep. So, I think they're about thirty-five, forty dollars. Yep. You actually keep it in a case. Yeah, great for the Glocks as well. Yeah, that's those um, uh, polished steel. Yeah, yeah, the shiny ones look like yep. a toolkit. Yep. Um, keep them away from the eyes of people you don't want to be seen. Treat it like it was something real. Yep. We know they're toys; they won't. So. Keep it away from those you don't want to see it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. safety glasses is the main thing. Yeah. Safety yeah. glasses and eye, eye pro and yeah. keep it away from people who don't want to see it. Yep. So most importantly guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you again on the next Blaster Review Tuesday here in MPA1 Sunshine Coast. I'm Lee, this is Scott. Stay safe and stay legal yeah. guys. We'll see you next time.